Hi. We're here at the construction site. This is a house. Half of a house. Not even half, maybe a third of a house. Well, we're in the basement. That's you just came in the uh, walkout basement door. So this is just the left side of the house. Well, they put the radiant flooring in before they poured the uh, before they poured, and they just put down an insulating blanket. Comes in like four by eight sheets. It was rolled out and taped together, and then they laid down all the tubing. And the tubing, you can see, it comes out right here and then they pour the concrete floor. So eventually this will be hooked up to the, uh, to the boiler or hot water heater that heats all the water that runs underneath the floor. We're standing on ladders, we're actually in the basement. But what they did is they, they build up these forms like this. They go together like Legos. And they use a saw to cut them to size and everything. And they build them up and there's these um, connectors on the inside and then these they also have rebar running through these connector holes and so they stack them up and these and then you see these connectors you see the black lines that eventually is what you connect the drywall to on the inside or the siding to on the outside so they stack them up like that they connect them all together and they had braces up so that the they didn't explode when they poured the concrete if you look down so you can see where they poured first floor foundation. And then these, these styrofoam forms just stay in place. They act as insulators. They're building the first floor deck here now. As you can see all the, all the uh, joists going up. But then once they get that built, then they just continue on with the uh, building up these arc forms for the first floor of the house. And they have all this rebar here because uh, that when they pour the second floor, that'll tie the two floors together. Then that gives the second floor some stability and connection with the first floor. But you can see when they built these forms, they put this wood around the window and then they leave, uh, it's open right here. So that supports the concrete, when they pour the concrete on the sides and then they pour it right down here in the middle of the window too. And then they leave these, this wood in and that's what you attach the window to. When they waterproof, they just came in, they had a, a truck uh, with a trailer that they just backed up with a little machine about this big. And they just ran a hose around here and pumped it and just sprayed it, just like they were spraying the house down. And um, that was really it. And then they put this uh, like fabric type insulation on top of that. I think mostly to protect the house when they backfill. So that the rocks and whatever don't gouge into the arcs. I don't think it even took them that long. They probably probably took them an hour or two to do this.